to date, certainly front and centre for bond markets. Mark Bailey from Fixed Securities joins us now live from Sydney. Let's kick off with the UK, if we could, Mark, and just talk about the election. The polls, believe it or not, tightening. Yeah, good morning, James. That's right. Uh, if you believe the YouGov uh, poll, uh, the latest one had the Tories at 44% and uh, Jeremy Corbyn's Labor Party at 35 So that's a, a bit of a narrowing, probably around about two, three uh, percentage points there. Uh, you know, still a fairly big majority. And that was tightening was on the back of the fact that uh, the Tories published their manifesto and that in there there was a, a section in there about the elderly, elderly having to pay for their retirement. So that didn't go down too well with their... The, the political um, ba base there. Um, in terms of, you know, I guess the, the general economics there and, and moving into the European area, um, there's still continued debate in the Sunday papers about the, the amount and size of the, the Brexit bill, so to speak. You know, the EU wanting uh, demands for 100 billion, even, and the UK uh, has said, look, even a billion is, is going to be a, a big amount of money to pay over. So, you know, there's all kinds of issues there that need to be sorted out um, before they, you know, start to nut out the actual negotiations, which are due to start in, in earnest in June. Uh, first on the, on, on the, older list is the border between Northern Ireland and also those citizen rights of the UK citizens in the EU and vice versa. Um, so there's a lot to talk about there but at the moment you know, the, the polls are showing a bit of a tightening which will be a bit of a concern but by all accounts it should still be a, a fairly large landslide victory for the Tories. Finance ministers, uh, European finance ministers meeting late today. What do you expect to be top of the agenda? Oh, that's going to be um, all about Greece, um, yeah. James. Um, there, there's still that huge impasse between the IMF and uh, Germany and the EU. Uh, the IMF wants some kind of uh, debt renegotiations uh, and wants to see Greece have some kind of sustainable debt. Let's not forget that debt to GDP is currently 180% way above sustainable levels, whereas Germany is still very much of the camp. It doesn't want to give Greece any forgiveness of debt, so that impasse still remains. It's unlikely that you'll get any kind of uh, formal agreement today, but you know, later on this year that uh, the bailout does uh, run out that's currently in place for Greece and they will need a subsequent bailout, and it's, it's trying to get those details and get everybody to agree mm. on that way forward is going to cause issues, I think, and that is going to continue to rumble on and going to be a fly in the, in the ointment for the EU uh, for the next six months or so. And interestingly, Mark, while the US president is doing deals on his Middle Eastern trip, Mark is starting to consider a Mike Pence presidency. That, that's right. And I, th I think, you know, in terms of you know, where we're at and, and the issues that Trump has got home, he you know, seems to be handling himself very well on his Middle East tour so far. Uh, but back home, you know, the, the financial markets are just starting to think, you know, what a Mike, Pre Mike Pence presidency would look like. You know, he's probably fairly pro-business, uh, good fiscal spend, pro-growth. So not too different from, from Trump, but maybe in a, uh, a less charismatic, uh, more... Um, working with all the different parties within Congress to actually get something through. So I think probably you'd, if, if it did happen and it did move, you'd see some short-term volatility, but actually it could be more positive for the U.S. on a longer-term basis. But, you know, we're still a long way from that. But, you know, as we all know in the financial markets, we started to consider these possibilities um, long before they uh, even uh, become a, any kind of a guaranteed uh, outcome. Indeed. And it gives us stuff to talk about as well. Mark Bailey, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, James. Have a good day. Now, quickly for you.